sponsored by Dennis J. Courtney, MD, director of the Courtney Medical Group, located at 3075 Washington Road in McFarley, Pennsylvania. For more information or to make an appointment, call 724-942-3002. That's 724-942-3002 for Dennis J. Courtney, MD. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to AM Impact on Your Health. AM Impact on Your Health, where every day our goal is to have you learn at least one thing to help you live better and longer. AM Impact on Your Health, heard each and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 to 9 o'clock. I'm Dr. Dennis Courtney, and I'm with you each and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 to 9. AIM Impact on Your Health, where each day you'll find current medical news, knowledgeable guests, fascinating health topics, and of course, where we do encourage you to call in to join in. Today, uh, we're going to be really insisting you give us a call today. We hope you get as many calls in as you would like to bring to us. You tend to always respond when this guest is on our airways. He's really a specialty all unto himself. A board-certified ophthalmologist, yes, but treating eye disorders in a way well, in a way, just others really don't ever do. And uh, with the kind of results that he gets, you might just very well be interested in taking him up on his offer because he's coming to town, you know. His name is Dr. Edward Kondrat. He is a local boy. Local boy moved on to the Phoenix, Arizona area, but keeps on coming back, treating eye diseases in his own unique and special way. And we'll be talking to Dr. Kondrat this morning, uh, allowing you, if you have any eye questions at all, uh, feel free to give us a call at 412-825-6262. If you think you'd like to be treated by Dr. Kondrat, you must know that he'll be inbound here to the Pittsburgh area for the second week of May. We'll be talking about that when we bring him on the show today. So if you'd like to be involved in his eye treatment seminar, uh, that will be days May 9, 10, and 11. Well, you'll want to ask him about that, too. You'll want to have information that you can jot down in the way of contacting his offices in Phoenix, and we will just keep flooding you with more information and more information on this subject as the morning goes on. Remember, as in the course of our conversation today, if you want to call and ask a question about your eye issues or someone you know and love very much, the number to do so is 412-825-6262. That's 412-825-6262 with Dr. Dr. Ed. Dr. Edward Condra today. Uh, weekend coming up, and uh, hoping you're enjoying it. I understand uh, you're going to have uh, well, some mediocre weather today, but things are going to be warming up starting tomorrow around here. Bill Bill says it's so. Uh, when Monday rolls around, we're going to open. Right now, open date. I'll probably bring Jerry Singleton on board. It's probably the last opportunity that he'll have with you before we actually have the MCG testing. A little bit about that in just a moment. On third, excuse me, Wednesday of next week, Judy and Susan will be here. They run a company called Three Rivers Thermography. Ladies, if it's time, meaning your annual thermogram, because you know how you replace it, replace the mammogram that you don't do anymore, well, if it's time to do your annual thermogram, you want to sign up to do so soon. Uh, I will tell you that the girls uh, with their thermography unit will be in my office on the 21st of April, if you have a mind to getting this accomplished in the month of April, that's the date to do it, at least in my office. Uh, if you're somewhere else geographically undesirable to me, or how do I say it, but I'm geographically undesirable to you. Maybe that's the way to put it. Um, these girls travel all around the western Pennsylvania area. You'll want to pay attention on next Thursday to find out where they may be locally in your neck of the woods. And so we're going to be having Judy and Susan talk about thermograms in general. Some uh, financial special they have on thermograms uh, that they'll be launching with you on the 13th. So you don't want to miss that. Then next Friday, speaking of don't want to miss, uh, we'll have Dr. David Brownstein with us. I am, because he sent me a copy of each one of his nine books. And so I've been barraged with books, but I've picked up the thyroid book that we're going to be talking about uh, with Dr. Brownstein next Friday here on the show. And uh, I hope you'll want to be aboard with us. 
The gentleman has a knack. I, I will tell you his book's simple to read, uh, but just jam-packed of information and, and our kind of information, if you know what I mean. Yes, he's a medical doctor, but he treats differently also. And he's able to write about it in a, in a simple, um, forward, uh, easy concept sort of a way that even a non-medical person should do quite nicely reading his books. Uh, if you wanted to get some information on them, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll give you that information on Monday uh, in terms of what numbers you can call. The website is drbrownstein.com, and all of his books are available there. Then on the 18th, which is the following Monday, it's going to be a fun time around here. I'm looking forward to it. I'm practicing up on my um, foreign languages. That's a joke, because uh, I really have never given Russian a stab. Going to have um, Roland Thomas with us on that day, on the 18th. Of course, we are going to be talking about back bioengineered algae concentrates, which uh, was first, the whole concept was brought to us by Roland. And uh, Roland um, is in charge of a company called BioAge. Now, his partner in BioAge, if I've got it all right, is one, Dr. Michael Kiriak, a Soviet scientist who invented the stuff. He did so back in the 1970s at the request of the Soviet government. They were having trouble with chickens and cows and all sorts of animals. Uh, he came up with the right feed uh, for them to correct all their problems. And then, given a supreme challenge in 1986, where with the Chernobyl nuclear accident, he was sent there by the Soviets to do what turns out to be a whole lot of good. Awfully timely, is it not, to have him. We're going to ask him some questions about how he feels about the Japanese thing. I'm just hoping, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I've asked, hey, how's the guy's English? And uh, Dr. Roland Thomas tells me, you know what, not too bad. So we'll rate him on his English, but we won't hold him to the true test. I mean, come on. Uh, I guess we're going from Russian to French to English. These are the three I know of for sure. Um, Hey, my tip my hat's off to the gentleman, Dr. Michael Kiriak, with Roland Thomas, going to be here on the 18th, and you don't want to miss it. Then in that same week, we're focusing on the 21st, because we're going to be doing a seminar here, um, the um, testing seminar. Now going to be our fourth one on MCG testing. You keep hearing us talking about it. Uh, pick us up on my offer. Uh, to allow you to get this testing done here in my office on the 21st of April. And uh, we're going to be running them every 15 minutes from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. A number of slots still remain open. Uh, and if you think you'd like to have yourself, you and a uh, spouse or a close friend, we've seen the, the, the attracting pairs and, and the threesies and foursies even coming in sometimes. Uh, a clustered effect, you know. Anyway, uh, every 15 minutes, another person will be able to enter and uh, get retested or, or tested for the first time, I should say. Uh, and then afterwards, be prepared to sign up for a time when you can come in to discuss the results. And uh, we can have a good old time uh, talking about what to do about these scores. Uh, the nice thing about doing MCG testing, which, as I think you should know by now, is a non-invasive way for us to get the same information that we could get from a full-blown cardiac cath. And of course, uh, as invasive as they are, and as uh, riddled with uh, complications and risks as they are, uh, and we don't ever want anybody to have a cath, to get that information without paying, uh, at least running the risks of paying a severe price for it, well, it would be very worthwhile. And so, while lying on a bed, uh, fully clothed with your ankles and wrists exposed, uh, in six minutes you'll be able to accomplish that objective. So we'll try to bring Jerry on Monday. Uh, if anybody has any final questions on the subject, it uh, looks like with what we've got scheduled after that, we won't have any time to bring Jerry with us between uh, then, between now rather, and then, which is the 21st. And that's the way it goes. I look at the month of May and, uh, oh, let's see. Susan Smith-Jones, right, Susan was with us on Wednesday, and um, of course she was talking about uh, detoxifying, we never really got to um, her 10 points on detoxifying and cleansing, she 
pleaded with me to come on back. I begged her to come back. She'll be back on the 4th. And, of course, uh, in the second week, we um, uh, I haven't talked about any radio guests because I've been focused on this uh, eye treatment seminar once again. Um, a treatment seminar on 9, 10, 11, and an open invitation to all of you out there who want to come and meet Dr. Ed and myself here at my office. Uh, we're going to have a general seminar in which all questions will be answered, uh, giving you an opportunity in a non-stress environment, uh, completely free of charge, to get uh, that kind of an inter interrogatory with yourself and a famous ophthalmologist like Dr. Ed. Well, I hope you'll take us up on that. That'll be on the evening of the 9th. Uh, we screwed up initially, remember? We actually put it on Mother's Day, which is the 8th, and uh, shame on us. But believe, believe you me. We changed it pretty quick. Okay. Why don't we do this? Let's take a short break. In the interim, I'll go find him, folks. I know he's uh, he's up. He's about. Uh, his name is Dr. Edward Kondrat. We're going to be talking about this eye treatment seminar. If you've got eye issues and questions to pose to somebody who ought to know the answers, he's the guy you want to give us a call today. Be right back in a moment with Dr. Ed. about how best to manage your health. It's no wonder. It seems that every time you turn on the television or radio, another expert has yet another suggestion for you to follow that seems to be reasonable enough, but no matter how dutifully you follow the instruction, it just doesn't quite produce the results that you are looking for. If this confusion sounds familiar to you, give us a call at the Center for Complementary Health, where we'll make some sense of the confusion based on a blending of traditional and alternative medicine that we've been perfecting over the last seven years. We offer metabolic nutrition testing, immune system repair, natural hormone replacement therapy, chelation therapy, cutting edge allergy correction, and a host of other safe and effective alternative therapies. Dennis J. Courtney, MD, is located at 3075 Washington Road in McMurray. Phone 724-942-3002. Want to help your family eat healthier? Instead of learning to decide how to the flight this way, how about some real nutritional power? If your family has the typical American palate for fries, pizza, and burgers, giving your family the blessing of good nutrition is a struggle. Fruit of Spirit is the answer for your family's nutritional needs. Fruit of the Spirit is an all-natural, whole fruit puree made from fresh fruit native to the Holy Land with alkalizing minerals. Fruit of Spirit was five years in the formulation the work of a team of top nutritional experts with independent science to confirm its antioxidant power. One ounce a day provides the equivalent of five servings of fruits and minerals. Fruit of Spirit is convenient, affordable, and delicious. Even your picky family will sing the praises of Fruit of the Spirit. Give your loved ones the blessing of good nutrition. Call 1-800-442-3793 for a special promotional offer. Fruit of Spirit, a blessing for your good health. That's 1-800-442-3793. Call them now. 1-800-442-3793. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back once again to AM Impact on Your Health. Heard here on KHB 620 each and every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 8 to 9 o'clock. I'm Dr. Dennis Courtney with you today on a Friday version of the show. It is normally a get them up out of town version of the show in terms of, uh, well, getting us into the weekend. And we normally do open it up for phone calls. We are certainly going to do that today. But I hope you'll take yourself up on an opportunity that you rarely get presented the ability to speak to one of the most knowledgeable gentlemen in the country on eye disease and eye disorder, a board-certified ophthalmologist, yes, but treating in a way that, well, just can't be reproduced locally, and the results, well, they are staggering. His name is Dr. Edward Contrat, a local guy. Um, yes, he went away. He's in Phoenix, but he keeps on coming back, and he's coming back soon, folks, second week of May, and we're going to get him to talk about that right out of the shoot. Let's say good morning and welcome back once again, Dr. Ed. Hello. Uh, that's right, it's so. I have a lot of... And, and you too. Well, um, I know you're coming to town, Ed, and uh, it's, uh, I don't know, maybe it's the uh, first time this year, right? It's the first time that you've been back since December or something like that. Really 
really excited. And this time I'm giving a seminar and a program Fox. That's right. We changed the venue. You normally come to town and uh, just hold up in a motel or hotel. Uh, and I've been to some of those, and you've done very well with them. But you are now bringing it into the doctor's offices. We're going to be doing it right out of my office. I'm looking forward to it. And um, explain why, if you will, Ed, because I think there's been good reason for why the change. Why did you move it from the hotel to the doctor's office? Holding up in a hotel. Okay, so. You know, it's uh, it is true that um, you're here for a week, and so uh, you're able to initiate a treatment program. Uh, you do return back to Phoenix, and um, I like the idea of having the continuity of care in your office, office uh, in my office, for instance, while you're gone. You are going to return back uh, to see these folks at intervals, too. And when you do, you'll be checking up on them ophthalmologically. But there's enough to be done uh, on your treatment program that it has to be managed by a physician anyway. And uh, to do that locally while you're afar and to check up on their results and how they've pro been progressing seems like to be the best way to get over the hump that you're no longer in Pittsburgh, but you're still able to bring high-powered treatments to people with eye disorders. Yeah, uh, it is true that um, uh, you know, we, we and I, you and I have talked a, a long time, an awful lot about ECP, and um, you evidently have done your own investigation on how ECP, this, this procedure we've been using for cardiovascular improvement for a long time now, just might be something that could be very helpful in macular degeneration. Uh, of course, there's two kinds of macular degeneration. You say in the dry form of macular degeneration, which is easily enough to diagnose, you really feel there is potentially a great deal of benefit to be achieved by doing ECP. How so, Ed? Uh, 
receive a lot of injection and laser to be wet for the from dry starch. Uh -huh. And atrophy. So just because you have wet mesh, absolutely perfect. Do a careful evaluation of the things I drive to make sure that there are some areas of need. But I think this could potentially be an extremely beneficial treatment uh, for folks to try Well, I'm interested to see how it how it goes, how it turns out. I will say that uh, for the longest time, I'm quite used to hearing from patients who do ECP now. I'm not doing an ophthalmological exam on these folks. It's just outside of the scope of my practice. But uh, I can tell you, it is a frequent. Um, it's a frequent comment by patients with ECP that their vision improves. Now, I got to figure that uh, maybe I've had a number of people who've had the dry macular degeneration, and I didn't know it. But as they did ECP, they certainly did get a response, and. Uh, because it happens so frequently, I got a feeling that when we take a look at, our, at the studies that you intend to do on people before and after, I'd be very interested to see what you see when you look in the back of their eye. All right. Um, now you're going to be coming to town the second week of May. Let's uh, let you, because you're the guy who's putting this little show together here. Um, you do a uh, well. We got to change our schedule a little bit because well, we we screwed up initially. We had to schedule for a, a generalized seminar on May 8th, a Sunday. And normally, I know you do like to do these on Sunday, but that particular Sunday is Mother's Day. So we had to change it, Ed. And then I guess we're doing uh, the general seminar on Monday evening from 6 to 8 here in my office. What goes on during the general seminar and why should people want to come? Well, that seminar attention to and these are key steps that people need to take in order to save their vision if they have some vision or if they're losing their vision or suffering from some type of eye problem. And I think it's imperative that they come to this seminar and learn what done in order for them to regain their vision. But you know, really I course, if you follow this person, I would say over ninety percent patients will have a big and for those of you who are listening to your eye dark, nothing can be done. That surgery, that injection, and you're frustrated, nothing seems to help. Please come to the seminar. You have nothing to do. Uh, the seminar is free and you can meet myself, Dr. Courtney, or a lot of this able to have well, also, too, because I've been involved with so many of these, when you have offered them, I find that um, you're more than generous with allowing the audience until literally they run out of questions. You keep on answering questions for them. It's a great opportunity to get a free consultation in general terms, so to speak, uh, without actually having a face-to-face uh, -face consultation where uh, so much of the audience benefits from having an opportunity to discuss their eye issues or loved ones' issues with the expert himself. And, and so, although you don't ever seem to mention it, I will tell you, ladies and gentlemen, he's more than generous with allowing you to ask those questions. And so uh, that's another reason I'd say you want to put this on your calendar, Ed. I'm 
Well, I'd pick uh, the opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, to, to, to take him up on his offer uh, to be with us on the evening of March 9th. That's a Monday, 6 to 8 here in the office. Now, just so that you reserve a seat, what you'd like to have them do, Ed, is uh, call your office to let uh, the office know that there's an interest on your part, ladies and gentlemen. That number, I wrote it down last week, and I'm pretty sure I'm right about this, one 800 Four three zero nine three two eight. Am I right about that, Ed? And don't call right now. No. <laughs> no. Will... Yeah, a little a little later on this morning. Now I actually think there's a knock on the door. Someone's already knocking to try to find out some information. Let's let them on in. Come on the store. Hello. You're Good with. Morning. The... Go ahead. Uh, Dr. Condra. Good morning. I started, my problem started about three, a little over three years ago. I started, I never had problems in my life, never wore glasses, I had 20-20 vision, but I started seeing a little bit of grayish tints to people's faces when I would look at them out of my left eye, just the left eye, okay? I went to the ophthalmologist, and he said the pressure was 40, and it said the pressure was very high. They did a little bit of laser on it, but the laser wasn't enough apparently. So they said, you will have to physically have an operation on the eye. So I went in for a couple different operations, actually, for with these associates down here in Pittsburgh, okay? The operation went pretty successful. They took the lens out of the left eye, though. They never put the lens back in, and after about... I would say eight months, the eyes, the eyes started getting a little bit cloudy. Then everything was at a standstill. They didn't want to do anything with the eye. They just said, no, they said, if we do any more operations on that eye, you could lose the eye. So they didn't want to mess with it anymore. So now I basically don't have any vision out of the left eye, and uh, I've been to Wheels Eye Clinic out in Philadelphia. All right, I tell you what, sir, let's just do this. This is getting way more carried away than I think it's that we should. For yeah, so no, let's uh, let's let him comment on so far uh, what he might advise you to do. And I would say, from just listening to you without even have Ed comment, you need to be seeing Dr. Ed when he comes to town to get your own specific issue you know, a little more nailed down. But, Ed, what do you think about the saga of this particular patient? Uh, so what do you prefer to do? Do you 
you know, thorough eyed talk about what you decide. Uh, if you do come to the seminar, bring bring your eye record. Five minutes. Your eye record. That would try to get a better light line. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, yes, it does. Could I just have one more question, please? Go ahead, sir. Uh, could anything be done for the cloudiness of the eye? Well, we have to find out what causes Oh, uh, okay, okay. You know, it could be unsuspected or could be a corneal problem number of parts. Yeah, but they were saying that I would have to have a corneal transplant. Well, then that's not a corneal problem. Uh-huh. So our attention has to be corneal. Uh, I put better nutrition, not to the person. We have to alter to help. So once again, it has severe damage, not to start. Uh, we do not need to reverse it. So your body wants to kill it. Yes. You don't have to think about it. It's not going to happen. Right. I'll tell you what, sir, just from... Just from listening, and not, I'm not an ophthalmologist, but as a medical doctor, it seems as though one set of problems have just cascaded, which have accrued another set, which then cascaded. It just kept going down the line. And so, if anything, as I listen to you, your problems have amplified with this ophthalmological help you've, required, you've uh, gotten locally. Um, take Ed up on that opportunity to come at least see him at that seminar uh, and get some more, and bring those records with you, so he could give you some additional comments. You may want to catch his treatment while he's in town. Okay. Yes, uh, I have all the records. Well, bring them, and uh, just call this number, sir. I'm going to give it to you as well as anybody else that's listening. 1-800-430-9328. That once again is 1-800-430-9328. Just to reserve a seat at that seminar and. Uh, have a chance to meet us both. We'll be looking forward to it. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Sounds like a complicated set of problems to me too, Edward. Be interesting to see how that one plays out. Well, I hope it turns out that way for this gentleman. Of course, uh, the reason why we're having this discussion today, folks, is that Dr. Ed's coming back to town. He's going to be here on May 9, 10, and 11, actually doing treatments on, um, he usually likes to limit it to about 10 patients. Right now, by the way, as of yesterday, Ed, you have seven of your 10. I don't know whether you knew the final count in the amount. Additionally, three more slots are available, so as you're listening to us today, you could occupy one of them. As you're with us this morning on the show, however, you may have a question about yourself or someone else, feel free to give us a call at 412-825-6262. While we were listening to the other gentleman, a new caller has come on in, so come on into the store. Hello, you're with Dr. Ed. Go right ahead. Uh, hello, good morning. Hi. Uh, I have a question. This is about, uh, I think there's a device that's had oxygen uses in the body. There's a device, I think it's called an oximeter. You put it on your finger and it measures oxygen um, in your body. Like a pulse a oximeter. Pulse. Uh, my wife has been diagnosed or had it measured like 98%, like at the surface level, but is there any way to measure the oxygen, the actual usage of the oxygen in your tissues and your body? Uh, let's just say that the device that you're talking about is called a pulse oximeter. Oh, okay. And uh, we're very familiar with these. I'm an anesthesia doctor, so actually they all began in the anesthesia um, uh, portion of the operating room. That measures the O2 content in the venous supply. Ed, is there any device that you know of, because I don't know of one, at least that has a simple application for measuring the oxygen utilization of the cells? No, I'm not aware of one. My comment is that Dr. I do. Well, when it's 
Boxes like quarters, or uh, or eight or any eight uh, to measure their oxygen. Uh, this to stimulate for vacuum uh, generation is not situation which then results in the nature of tiny little blood vessels to collect vacuum. All right, sir, it looks as though it's a practice. It's uh, utilized by a number of ophthalmologists to determine whether there's a nocturnal drop in O2 saturation. And uh, by the way, how did that work out for your wife? Did you did she have a drop in her O2 saturations at night? I'm not sure. Oh, you're not sure just yet? All right. Yeah, we just wondered about the other part, uh, if there was any other way to measure the other piece. Uh, but the actual, the actual utilization of the cells, there there is no simple way that I'm aware of that you can do that. And so we were so happy to get the O2 saturation device. You just slide it on your finger. It's so simple. And so I guess to, to find out that the O2 saturations remain high uh, is about all that can be accomplished right now in such an easy fashion. Um, I'd invite you and maybe your wife to come on to the seminar on, uh, on Monday the 9th uh, from 6 to 8. And hopefully we'll see you there, sir. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you so much. Folks, you are with Dr. Edward Condra today. We're going to do this. We're going to take a short break. In the interim, maybe you'll decide to dial us up and uh, take the opportunity this morning to get some basic questions out of the way. 412-825-6262 is the number. Dr. Ed is coming to town. He's inviting you uh, in the free seminar or in the treatment seminar to take him up on his arrival. We'll be back talking with Dr. Ed in just a moment. See you then. That's right, the truth is spirit. The blessings of truth is spirit are now formulated into a delicious whole fruit parade product rich in antioxidants and minerals. Your health is more than just a test result. It's a balance of physical, spiritual, and emotional factors. You work regularly to strengthen your faith, but foods of spirit help cover your nutritional needs in a convenient and cost-effective down today. Call 1-800-442-3793 for a special promotional offer. Fruits of spirit, a blessing of your good health. Fruits of the spirit, five servings of fruits and minerals, no added sugar. That's 1-800-442-3793 for your good health. Call them now, one 800 this is Dennis Shea Courtney, MD. Have you become confused about how best to manage your health? It's no wonder. You see, every time you turn on the television radio, another expert has yet another suggestion for you to follow that seems to be reasonable enough, but no matter how dutifully you follow the instruction, it just doesn't quite produce the results that you are looking for. If this confusion sounds familiar to you, give us a call at the Center for Complementary Health but we'll make some sense of the confusion based on a blending of traditional and alternative medicine that we've been perfecting over the last seven years. We offer metabolic nutrition testing, immune system repair, natural hormone replacement therapy, chelation therapy, cutting edge allergy correction, and a host of other safe and effective alternative therapies. Dennis J. Courtney, MD, is located at 3075 Washington Road in McMurray. Phone 724-942-3002. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back once again to AM Impact on Your Health. Here on this Friday morning, yes, it's a get em up out of town version of the show. We are looking forward to the weekend. And um, we're looking forward, by the way, to the arrival of our favorite son, Dr. Edward Condrat an accomplished ophthalmologist who's going to bring his uh, whole treatment regimen. He's not going to hold up in a hotel. <laughs> He's coming to my office. Instead, we're going to do the entire treatment seminar here. Uh, that's May 9, 10, and 11 for the treatment seminar. That's May 9 at 6 to 8 for the general seminar, in which you'd have an opportunity to literally ask any question you might like to, and then meet Dr. Condra as well as myself. Today, we've opened it up to you. We said, give us a call, 412-825-6262. Ed, somebody has taken us up on our offer. Why don't we go to them right now? 
Good morning. You're with Dr. Edward Kondrak. Go right ahead. Good morning, gentlemen. Hi. I'm Dr. Kondrak, I, uh, I've heard your program when you were uh, doing the program here back in the, ni- back in the 90s. Um, I have uh, a high prescription with an astigmatism and was wondering um, if a person is hoping to uh, get their vision back. Um, uh, which I probably haven't had since like second grade or something, and I'm 42 now. Um, I know you used to talk about eye exercises. I've heard others talk about nutrition. I know there's uh, the LASIK surgery. Um, I don't know where you stand uh, as to what would work in general to, to help the person hopefully bring back their vision to where they didn't need glass. Well, nope. uh, if it's possible, your prescription. An excellent book that didn't seem to make their work called The Art of Sleep by Algis Huxley. I encourage you to read Huxley, that horrible idea, very successful. We got to help the medicine and ophthalmology. Again, he's emphasizing the patient for the patient. So I'll be talking about this at my seminar. You know, the patient says to take how to relax uh, your eyes, how it's a really interesting that you have to make contact with someone that's called a physiotherapist. And physiotherapist, someone trained in the rest of the ice to work with you to help you in your class. Some of these things are very, very basic. Uh, like, don't ever use the prescription skills with that. People who are nearsighted want their glass longer than the underside for eyes, much like the purple, you know, you want to keep your thing less and less, less to the legs, stronger and stronger, so you can see more and more thinking in your eyes. But I hope, I hope you come to the seminar and talk more. Just for the heck of it, Ed, because um, uh, there's a gentleman here, sounds like a complete refractory problem. He says he has high prescriptions, probably in the negative numbers for the diopters, and the stigmatism. What about, he mentioned LASIK. This is something that um, swept the country. How do you feel about LASIK in general for these refractory problems? Well, I think you have to be careful with it. As I, I, I describe it as a professor. As a professor, I think, as a very generalized problem, let's say, for example, high near, nearsighted class, or depressed or outside, some other physical, physiological problem. So if you don't take care of the underlying problem, if you have surgery, then that complication. Most people do extremely well with patients. But our patients don't do well. We really don't know the long-term effects of patients are. And of course, dry eyes, the regular system system. So uh, you have to be careful. I'm not totally against places for any other surgical procedure, but as an alternative doctor now, I'd like to look at the underlying problem and can be the underlying problem. Uh, and then in many cases, you know, the vision will improve, you can have better function, you can better help the trial. Okay. All right, sir. Oh, he already, already left us. Okay. Oh, there you go, another knock on the door. They're trying to get at you, Ed. These are great questions. Why don't we just move right to the next one? Hello? You're with Dr. Edward Condrad. Go right ahead. Hi, good morning, doctor. Hi. Good morning. How are you? Great. Um, I have a question for the doctor. I had a little bit of trouble hearing, so I may just hang up and listen on the radio. But um, my brother had what they called a stroke to his optic nerve. Uh, he lost about 40% of his vision and his eye occasionally tends to wander outward towards his ear. 
Now they've told him that there's nothing that can be done, and I was just wondering if um, the good doctor might be able to help him. All right, Ed, uh, an optics stroke. I'd like to hear that. Doctor told him nothing can be done. In those situations, it's always a lot of This case sounds like the first gentleman's fault. It sounds like it's an officer problem. And the first thing is let's evaluate the system. So then we would want to look at what is the underlying cause. The cause of the toxicity problem is blood and metal toxicity. Being regenerated, so, sure. A lot of cases like this, within three days, I'm out. Well, I would just say, too, Ed, that uh, if there ever was a case that intrigued me where I thought ECP could be a great addition because of the ability to revascularize any area of the body, any anatomical portion, retina included. I'd say, for my two cents, that would be an ideal case in which uh, uh, ECP could have a potentially grand improvement for this person. Oh, I agree. But where it's also hyperbaric oxygen. Yes, I'd say the combination with the hyperbaric. We're thinking along the same lines here. Uh, Perlmutter taught us a long time ago that uh, with these strokes and things like that, these neurons are on idle, and all is not lost. They are resuscitatable. They are able to be uh, taken back from an idling position. They're not. They're not dead. And so, what works in uh, in uh, the Perlmutter realm of of oxygenating, whether it's by vascular alone or by vascular plus high O2 concentrations, would be a potentially large benefit. And so I hope the uh, the lady who asked the question is still listening and will take you and I both up on an opportunity to help out here. I believe she said it was her brother she was talking about. Well, as normal, uh, the, the, the thing that gets your dander up is when somebody has said, especially one of your colleagues, nothing can be, there's anything that gets me going and appears to get you going the same way is to hear that somebody said, nothing can be done. Uh, that usually means we go charging, We, you and I go charging right into that kind of case, don't we? Well, uh, certainly has uh, t 
to put you on a different pathway that uh, very few have traveled. That uniqueness is coming to the Pittsburgh area, folks. I'm glad you're asking your questions now. Keep on doing so. We've got about oh, 10 minutes left, so uh, 412-825-6262 if you have a, happen to have a question for Dr. Kondrat. Once again, uh, he is coming to town. Two different ways you can get a chance to see him. One, just in a general seminar. One that you have an opportunity to hear him express his uh, 10 points of uh, improving vision. Uh, and then an opportunity to ask whatever questions you'd like. That's in a seminar on Monday evening from 6 to 8 here at the office. Or a actual treatment seminar where you need help. A couple calls that we've had already on this uh, seems to suggest, really, you need to be in that treatment seminar and you know who you are. Uh, the number to be involved with either one or both is 1-800-430-9328. That's 1-800-430-9328. The treatment seminars will be held May 9th, 10th, and 11th. But the May 9th will be that one day that the general seminar will be offered here in the office, 6 to 8 o'clock. 412-825-6262, the number for today. Now, Ed, we were talking off air a bit, and um, you had mentioned that you, you're coming across some information regarding folic acid and the eye. Could you share that with the listeners? Well, uh, seminar, Dr. American of an expert in And he feels probably about half the possible genes So just for fun, uh, we had Yes, uh, the, it goes under the name Metanex. This product has a, a combination of methylfolate valve and hydroxyl. So it's a great combination. So I'm, I'm doing research right now, and it's fascinating because right after uh, uh, programming you, um, I received an email from uh, 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 a college organization that I belong to that deals with uh, plasma homes, vitamin B12, and folate levels of the generation. So it's not even confirmed for clinical options. Um, so I think it's here that we may, we may have uncovered a very simple nutritional approach really helps. Right. Well, it's uh, it's now focused to the, it's brought, it has brought, been brought into focus with respect to the eye where we've known for quite some time homocysteine is injurious to all blood vessels and the eye would just be one of them. And the MTHFR gene defect that you described, I think it, uh, she's, it may be a little bit uh, conservative. I think it's more than 50% of the population walks around with this uh, this genetic pattern that allows them to accumulate levels of homocysteine that could be injurious. So I hope your research continues to show that there's another yet uh, yet another nutritional component to add to your list of what probably now becomes 11. Okay, 10 up till now, now soon to be 11. Another knock on the door, Ed. They want to at you before this thing closes. Hello, hello. You're welcome. Come on in the store. You're with Dr. Ed. Uh, just a close, gentlemen. 
I got cut off before when I called about the high prescription and the stigmatism. Uh, Dr. Conrad, I was just wondering uh, which of the seminars, the, the free one or the treatment one, would you uh, be addressing, say, uh, my type of problem? And, gentlemen, what does the eye treatment seminar specifically uh, do? I'll hang up and listen on the radio. Thanks, Joe. Oh, great question as we're coming up to the end of the line. Ed, which, which one would you suggest that he come to? Maybe even the... Typically, when I do treatment seminars, I mainly focus on folks that have pathology, active degeneration, glaucoma, who are using their vision. When you want to follow the spectrum, your side of this, that something that takes a lot more time, nothing can be accomplished in three days. Program uh, that may not be involved with for maybe months to a year, you know, learning these techniques, going through the exercises, exercises, working with the therapist to help uh, you know, reduce your vision. And it can be done. I extremely sick last week, and by going through a program like this, the average teacher perspective is correct. All right, I hope we see this gentleman at, our, at the, once again, the 800 number. As the bongos are surfacing in the background, 1-800-430-9328. Hope to see you there. I'll be continuing to talk about this in the ensuing weeks as we approach uh, May 9th. We may even get Ed to come back once or twice before it's all over with. Dr. Ed, thank you so much for coming aboard today. I'm looking forward to uh, our encounter together in the second week in May. And uh, until then, this is... Dr. Dennis Courtney with Dr. Edward Condra saying so long for AM Impact on Your Health.